From this moment on, you will now be known as Sharkbait. Sharkbait, ooh ha ha! Welcome, brother Sharkbait. Sharkbait, ooh ha ha! Enough of the Sharkbait. Sharkbait, ooh, bop, bado. Hey YouTube, this is D from Brooklyn, the assistant chiefy, with my first ever creative aquarium contest. That's right. I want to say thank you for all of you guys that have joined my subscribers. I've gone over the 100 mark, and I'm taking this as an opportunity to give a little back. So this is my first ever creative aquarium contest. Now, the reason I'm calling the creative aquarium contest is because that's what I want to see. I want to see all you DIYers. You custom reef builders, you custom planted tank builders. I'm going to open this contest up to both salt water and fresh water. Although I want to see one contest entry per person, I'm, open this, I'm opening this up to both of you. I want to see what you got. I want to see you show off. I want to see how you made that off the tank, off the shelf tank turn into something creative and something truly your own. So here's one of my prizes. First prize right now. Fosman Reactor Model 150. You can use it for your freshwater tank if you want to hold carbon, you want to hold uh, ammo chips or anything like that. This is a great prize, something that all of you, I think, you know, being tank aquarius enthusiasts can take advantage of this opportunity and win a prize. Hey, you might know somebody that's got a tank better than yours. You may not have uh, the resources. He may have it. You can use this as a joint effort. Maybe you've built a tank for somebody else. Maybe they have a tank. They don't have the YouTube skills or video. Maybe you guys can collaborate. But in any case, as long as you're a subscriber to my channel, you can take a part in the contest. And I want to give this opportunity to anyone out here. So let me go over the rules and show how you can take advantage of this great opportunity. And a little side note, there'll be a second and a third place prize. I haven't picked them up yet. I got some ideas, but I'm going to open that up to a even suggestion. I have some things. I want to make it a little even playing ground for you guys that don't have the salt water. You may have a fresh water tank. Maybe you can use some lighting or something like that. But that I'll be highlighting in an upcoming video to go over what the runner-up prizes are. But there's only one entry per person, so let's not get greedy, people. But anyway, let me go into some of the rules and uh, let's take it from there. Okay, so like I said, this is going to be open to both saltwater tanks and freshwater tanks. So no matter what kind of tank you got, I'll be looking for originality and uniqueness. And I want to see what you did to make that tank go from off the shelf to off the hook. If it's a planted tank, you might want to talk about aquascaping, what kind of special plants or what kind of design you did. But any way you do it, I want to see a little bit about how you customized it and how you made it your own. Okay, everybody, let's go over some of the rules. Rule number one, you got to be one of my subscribers. All right. So to take part of the contest, you have to actually be one of my subscribers and uh and, uh, and that's the rule number one, <laughs> okay? Rule number two, I'm looking for uniqueness and originality. You know, everybody has a little personal touch that they put in their tank, whether it's building your stand, building your rockscape, cutting, light work, plumbing, you know, things of that nature. So I want to see what you've done in your tank to truly make it your own. All right. No cheating. No going to like, you know, tank or one of those companies, infinite or something and getting the like super custom build job and then saying that you did it yourself. <laughs> we can always tell. <laughs> but anyway, that's rule number two. So rule number one, you got to be a subscriber. Rule number two, I want a brief description of what you did to make it truly custom, what you did to your tank to make it your own. All right. And uh, I know I'm showing a saltwater tank, but I'm not going to close it out to you freshwater people. I know the prize is a Fosban reactor, but I may have a little sus uh, subscriber bonus. I'm going to have a, a second prize, which I'll announce within the next day or two for you freshwater enthusiasts. So I'm going to open the floor to both freshwater and saltwater unique DIY tank builders. All right. So that's rule number one and rule number two. Rule number three is I want a description of your tank. I want uh, how big is it, 
How do you have it running? How long it's been running? You know, uh, did you just build it yesterday? Has it been running for a while? Give me a little overview of a little history of your tank. You know, what kind of filtration you got on it? Uh, what kind of setup is it? Is it a reef? Is it just a planted tank? If it's fresh water, salt water, is it fish only? Is it coral and fish? So give me a little description of what the tank is all about. All right. And then the last rule, I want to get a little personal. I want to know what draw you to build a tank the way you, you built it. You know, did you have a tank? Is it your first one? Uh, did you have a bad tank? Did you have a crash? And is this a rebuild? Is this a second, uh, you know, a second attempt to uh, building your tank? So uh, give me a little history of it, you know. And uh, I like to hear from you. You know, so not so much competition, but I really look forward to seeing everybody's tanks and getting into the little customization and meeting new people online and and expanding our community. You know, I'm a member of the Brooklyn Aquarium Society, so I meet a lot of different people, both planted tanks, saltwater tanks. You know, some people just have tanks where they just breed fish. <laughs> you know, if you're just a fish breeder, and you can go into like detail of how you built your tank just to be customized just for breeding fish. You know, I look forward to seeing that. So uh, I'm going to give you a few weeks. I look, I'm look, i looking to hit the uh, 200 mark, but I'm going to run this contest for a few weeks because I'm going to pick up another surprise uh, number. I want to have a second place and a third place prize because I do have a lot of subscribers. And I want to open it up to both salt water and fresh water. So I'm going to open it up uh, and give you to the end of March. So I'm going to open up to for a while and I'm going to give an update as to who's entered and how the running is. And I look forward to hearing from all of you.